guys it's miss arlene coming to you with another video and in this video we are going to be program planning for the month of august right um i'm going to put a link below to our program plan for july um in august we're going to be doing a lot more of the same things and some different ones as well i do have my um some stickers here stickers from the last um project that we did I'll also put a link to that as well and uh, the board that I'm, I'm working on or um, display the board we also made in one of the videos so I'll also put a link to that below okay so let's get started on this and uh, um, yeah August is basically the beginning of summer ending i guess i should say so we want to make sure we do this with a bang we want to make sure whatever that we're doing the children can maybe um take home their project if you're working on that or make sure it's memorable for the children okay so let's just jump right into it okay so um monday um august the second is a holiday where i'm at so I'm going to just put holiday. So we are not open on that day. And um, so let's just move over to Tuesday. Remember on Wednesdays and um, Fridays, we designated those as water day, right? So let's just add those in. So Wednesday, water day. I don't like to do water play on a um, Monday because parents usually forget that it's water day and the children usually don't show up for what's needed for water play. So Wednesdays and Fridays, water play. So those are out of the way. Now, my friends, I don't know about you, but where I'm at, when it gets to the middle of um, August, it starts to get a little bit cold. So I'm just going to leave water play for the week, the last water play, maybe for the week of um, the 16th to the 20th right because i find that week it gets so cold you know like as i said it's the beginning of um summer ending and uh, um you know it gets cold and children don't want to go into the water after that okay so let's carry on so let's see what we're going to be doing for um for tuesday now um with this i like to also throw in a picnic out there for the children so let's do a picnic lunch and we're gonna do a picnic lunch outside on thursday the day before water day okay so let's do picnic lunch oh, oh, oh. oh see of course so let's do a picnic lunch my friends you can make this as fancy as you want it to be my friends and uh, um as i told you before make it um make it fun um your make your calendar fun decorate it with some stickers use some markers in there and so on and so on right so we're gonna do a picnic lunch outside if you do not have a big space it's fine to do the picnic lunch just on um the playground no big deal just set it up nicely with some towels and stuff and or some blankets and get the children sitting and having their lunch outside i don't know if you guys get your food catered or um you cook at your place but um yeah and if it's if this is a home um daycare center you do it outside of the park that's nothing is wrong with that just grab yourself some blankets and make it a fun picnic day so we're gonna just do picnic outside so when you do picnic days my friends you're just you're you're playing with balls outside after the picnic you're just having some nice little games outside and make it fun so we're eating lunch outside okay so remember saturday and sunday we're just going to leave blank unless you're um you're running a home child care center and you work on saturdays okay so we're gonna leave this blank so let's jump over um on to tuesday so tuesday i like when the children come in and we just um sort of get to know each other so we're just gonna play a series of games right so we're gonna put um we're gonna make this um a games day right so games day 
and games day you can play checkers i like to play charades on um games day i like to play win lose or draw and they just find it fun and you use anything for that my friends get your flash card um simple stuff on them simple simple pictures and then um you get the children to draw what's um on the picture and everybody can guess okay so let's jump down to the second week. So the first week is done. So we have the games day on the Tuesday, water play on Wednesday and Friday, and then we have the picnic lunch, right? So let's go down on the Monday of the, the following week. And remember, when we do our August calendar, some of the children are now going to be attending school, so they might not be there for the rest of the holiday. But we still have to plan to make sure if they do come all of August, they're having fun as well, okay? So on um, that week, I like to make um, a nice art week. So let's make this that week, okay? So we're going to put it on, on the Sunday, actually. Art week right and in art week you do anything you want to so art week we're going to be painting on the playground so let's um do painting on the playground and when we're playing on painting on the playground sorry when we're painting on the playground we're taking out the whole shebang so we're taking out the paper the paint and wherever you can find space in this time when we need to social distance i suggest that you you know you make sure wherever you're putting a space for um, a child you're actually practicing social distancing right so we're painting on the playground that day and we're using whatever paint you have we want to make sure that we have um, skin tone paint when we're painting on the playground as well on the Tuesday let's um, do some do some painting rocks my friends when we're painting rocks we're using acrylic paint and then you also want to put a finish maybe a match patch over um, the painted rock because otherwise um, it will come off um, yeah so we want to make sure we secure that um, so painting rocks we did paint rocks as well in um, July but you know this activity is always fun and you can go a little bit more elaborate you can also use stickers on this day and uh, you know make it nice and fun for that way and uh, um, okay so let's do some 3d craft with loose parts and remember we talked a little bit about loose parts the last time and loose parts is actually a educational philosophy that you can use anything um and turn it into something else right a piece of wood can be an airplane and so on so, and so forth right so um we're going to do 3d art so we're going to find a bunch of loose parts my friends glue them together make a nice little craft so we can display them so remember this week is art week and you can oh i'm sorry i'm going to put um the 3d craft actually over on this 3d craft over on thursday because remember wednesday is um with loose parts and remember wednesdays are um wednesdays are water play and fridays are the water play see it's so much fun when you sort of you know have something different than the norm um you know and don't make it too um structure right my friends um it needs to all sorry it needs to also be flexible for the children so if they don't want to do water play make sure you have something out there for them to do and of course friday as i said we are going to be doing um water play as well on fridays so art week is all done so we're painting on the playground on the monday we're painting rocks on the tuesdays and these rocks my friends could be big rocks that's already on the playground make sure you get permission before you do that or um you get some small rocks walk down to the lakes pick up some rocks and get the children to play to use stickers as i said and then we're going to do 3d art um with loose parts on the thursday and then the two days are cover up okay so let's 
jump down to the third week and I also like to do sports week again my friends you have to have them running so I'm gonna put sports week with the Olympics recent in our minds we can do stuff around that right so let's do active um sports week and then remember we're gonna we fill these in with water play for those two days so let's do maybe some races we can do some races when um i'm working i don't like to be competitive at all i think children should be there to have fun i don't believe in competition so when um when we're doing stuff like that we're not ra racing against each other we're just all taking turn to run around the, the the playground run around the field whatever so i'm gonna put running um so i'm gonna put um racing and we can just see how many people can run around the playground we can do some racing games i have this game called the pony games that i just call the children name and they just run around the playground while I sing a song, I'm gonna call it the pony run. So pony run um, game. So um, I sing a song, here comes Johnny on his pony, riding on his big, big pony. And uh, um, he runs around the playground and they just have fun. I will just do a couple of running games here. Okay, so then we'll move over to the Tuesday. So on, on Tuesday, then we'll do some, maybe bowling. Let's do some bowling. Bowling. And when we do some bowling, my friends, you can use, um, make your own plastic bottles. And usually a bowling pin and set is pretty cheap. And this can take up a whole morning, my friends, bowling. The children just totally enjoy it. But make sure you're there as a teacher, um, you know, kind of guiding them. Because sometimes it gets ridiculous because, you know. But we're bowling on Tuesday, Wednesday's water play, Thursday. We'll do some eggs and spoon run we're gonna use those plastic eggs um, that we got around easter i hope you guys save a couple and then um we'll just get a regular spoon and uh, this is how we're going to to do that right so this week we'll make um it a cooking a cooking week so let's let's name it actually little chef week yeah so that they think it's more than it is right and we're gonna be doing some cooking some baking some making of different things okay so monday little chef week so let's do some something quickly so let's make some some banana treat and this is a simple banana treat and this is the simplest things to make my friends so, so what you're going to do is um cut um the banana you know in half and then um cut it in another half and then um you just roll it in um crush whatever you have and just freeze it and get them to eat it so we'll make some banana treats simple you don't need a lot of uh, money to do this all you need is some banana and if you have cereal uh fruit loops or something you know you roll it in that it's you know and because the banana is already soft it will stick onto the banana on the wednesday oh sorry on the tuesday we'll make some um maybe some smoothies and remember we can use the leftovers bananas from the hair to go into the smoothies and of course we're keeping children's allergy in mind so we're also doing social distancing and we can do um cooking activity social distancing but teachers actually doing it and have the children watch right especially in covid time we don't want the children to be you know really but they can watch and see and you know we can talk about the foods that we're using healthy eating and stuff like that so then wednesday let's make some fruit salad and again simple simple stuff my friends simple simple stuff you don't want to go overboard with this this takes some minimum um ingredients you need maybe two three and get the children to um to choose whatever fruits they want in their um fruit salad right on thursday huh let's make some play-doh my friends because um making play-doh is cooking making play-doh and the friday we can also 
continue um, our cooking and let's make some mini pizzas uh, mini pizzas on um, the Friday so that just covers it but let's do a party so let's do also a party so end of the year party we're doing some mini pizzas for them to eat they can figure out what they want on their own pizza and this is this is good because we're going to use um, English muffins for these mini pizza they're fast and easy and simple and the children can actually do their own and you can bake them you know or put them in the oven separately so you will still be social distancing you know when we're cooking and stuff like that and the rest of the you know and the rest of the day I remember this final week we're not gonna do some water play because it's usually so cold and then um, the other the other two days are like free play free games um, free games so anything that they want to do they do in no time at all they're gonna be ending up back in school and you just want to make sure they have a beautiful beautiful summer not because we're making stuff like simple stuff cooking activity make sure you incorporate um, other things while they're waiting for their smoothies or waiting for the fruit salad we're doing other things about but um, yeah and remember also that cooking is also a science so incorporate a lot of that you know um, do some predictions and math and help the children around that so that's basically it I'm just going to decorate now and color so you can keep watching me while I do that Inside my pocket, I um, still continue decorating I'm going to add some stickers and I have some princesses to go on here I've got Moana I think her name is oh, uh -huh. so my friends make sure you're making it your own I got some let's do some Let's do some super heroes in that bad boy as well. You don't want to make it too focused on one um, gender. So let's throw in some superheroes in here as well. Not only princesses. So make this your own, you know. This is only for ideas uh, purposes. You make it your own, do what you want to do and uh, uh, make it nice and uh, make it appealing. And remember to photocopy. Yeah, make sure your parents um, get a copy. Make sure you have a copy available so the children know where they're going to do, what they're going to be doing. And I'm going to put some rocket ships in this bad boy and yeah i think it looks good what are your thoughts i just randomly put stickers around i think it looks great so that's it so let's take a deep breath <sighs> forget the mess and let the children play thank you for watching